So as I showed you guys previously, I installed an external oil cooler. Um, I did not remove the stock oil cooler. I'm keeping the stock oil cooler and adding this one as a precautionary measure. It's going to be thermostat controlled. So if the oil temperature gets over a certain amount, a certain temperature, um, and the stock cooler is not doing doing enough, then this one is going to kick in. And uh, I already show you how it's mounted. Now I'm going to show you the plumbing. All right. So um, I guess. We'll start actually at the engine. So pretend the engine is right here, right? Okay. So here's, at the end of this hose, pretend the oil pump is connected there. This is where your oil plate is. There's an oil pump there and it's pumping through this line. All right. So this line, we follow it, it goes up into the fender and into the hole that I previously mentioned to you guys. And from that hole, just follow closely. Sorry, I'm kind of shaky here with the camera. All right, so it's not this hose, it's the hose behind it, it's hard to see. But that hose, it follows along the top, bada beam, bada boom, makes a 90 down at the end over there and into the cooler. It passes in through the cooler all the way through and it comes out, this is the return line. The return line heads out that same hole, exits. And let me pick up where we left off. It's this hose right here. That's the return. And it's coming back. But before heading back straight into the engine, I mounted a remote oil filter. Um, these brackets are sold uh, for, for these bugs specifically. Literally, you just bolt it straight over your bumper bracket. But this is the return line from the uh, external oil cooler so it goes through the filter and then comes back out and it comes out this nipple so pretend that this uh, this hose is fitted to this nipple for right now and this black hose comes back boom and inserts into the side of your block which is about right here right now so um, luckily everything fit but hopefully that gives you some idea ideas of how to Hopefully that gives you some ideas of how how this thing works. Um, let me try to zoom out and get a general general overview here from the bottom. So this is your coming out of your fuel out of your oil pump, follows up that way behind the tire, through into that into that fitting, gets cooled inside the uh, the oil cooler, comes back out, got a beam, goes into this filter before coming out of here and going boom back into the block uh so the thermostat which i will install later literally i might make a video on it but it's really super simple they're expensive they're like 120 something dollars but i think it's worth it and i and it's easier than installing an inline thermostat you unscrew your filter and the thermostat fits between the bracket and the filter and you just screw it on and then screw your filter back on and it works inside of here and it shuts the oil circulation to just inside the engine, whether it needs it or not, depending on the time. So yeah, I'm excited about this uh, oil cooler setup. I really like how it came out. Um, the lines are a little long, but I'll take care of that. And I think it should really help, especially if I'm gonna be towing a trailer with all my stuff, since I am moving out of state, moving from LA to Idaho. So uh, got a long drive, some big mountains, uh, and uh, this is a 50 year old car 1971 Super Beetle and uh, it needs the extra cooling or it might need the extra cooling if I'm hauling um, hauling a trailer with a couple hundred pounds worth of stuff alrighty hopefully this helps out